What is up everybody? It's the Inhuman One here. Welcome back to part two of Have a Nice Death. This is our Refining Roguelite series where I try my best to master a genre that always seems to get the best of me. I've done crazy things and broken world records on action RPGs, souls likes, and anything you can think of, but our roguelites just happen to be that one genre that always, always uh, keep me coming back for more, but prevent me from ever seeing and experiencing the game to its fullest. So, this series is dedicated to me hoping and trying to get better at a genre that I typically struggle with and just revisit some of the games that I've left by the wayside because although I've been interested in the lore and the actual gameplay mechanics and everything that it has to offer, I haven't really been able to experience them to their fullest. So hopefully this series will change that. So this is part two of the series. Last time we were able to give one solid attempt which took about an hour. Um, as you know, I have played this game before in early access and uh, I just checked out the audio and stuff on the, on the day that I streamed here on July 28th. but. Aside from that, I haven't actually played that game at all um, because of the difficulty. I wasn't able to get very far in it. Now that it's you know fully launched or full release at this point in time, no longer an alpha or beta or anything like that, uh, we're giving it a go. And uh, I did fail on my first attempt. I got to H. Crank, but he defeated me. So let's see if we can try and retrace our steps, get back to H. Crank, which I believe is the Industrial Pollution Department. I might be incorrect there. Um, but... Or actually, it's the one beyond that. So whatever the department is after that, we're going to go and visit H. Cranky yet again and see if we can take him down. So without further ado, let's get started. The CEO's office. So let's see. <laughs> There's the performance review. Let's actually start checking these now on a go for. That's really cool. So on a go for it, I'll show you the attempt. So attempt number 001, we got an 817 as the performance review. The total runtime was 32 minutes, which probably only accounts for time within rooms and not break rooms, things like that. Um, breakdown level, not saying. And then we have, let's see, I don't know what all those little items are. Maybe those are the rooms that we entered, possibly. Three, four, five, six, yeah, it is. So if you look at the top, left corner where the little circles start, the icons, there's three, four, five, six, there's seven, which end with Brad, and we got there in about 12 minutes, and then there's another about seven, it ends with, I think it's G. Grimes, maybe Gordon Grimes, and then we have a whole another slew of rooms, and it ends with H. Crank, which unfortunately he ended our run. Uh, we had a decent amount of health, okay, we're, it looks like we're going mostly with the blue curses, pretty cool, pretty cool. Very awesome. These are just the general stats. So we're going to take a look at this each time. Very cool. I really enjoy this, actually. I love numbers. I hate math, but I love numbers. What is this? What does this button do? Oh. Huh? What? Who are you? Muriel says, renovation, inspiration, architecture, art, and passion. Oh, art, passion, eminence. She's just saying words. Ah, uh, Reverend, I just wanted to talk to you about... Silence! You're breaking her concentration. Oh, <laughs> she speaks in the third person. No, it doesn't work like that at all. You've interrupted her focus. She is displeased with you. Why have you deigned to interrupt her? Can we talk about business and discuss the office renovation, Reverend, once and for all? Undoubtedly, but remember that her works of art are not yours to place wherever you like. You must also honor the terms of each order in gold ingots. And ingots, good grief. Well, at least you have your head screwed on. So this must be kind of like in Hades where you can, you know, restore some of those halls um, and things like that. I never really got too far with that. I didn't do too much renovation, but you did have a separate currency to unlock decorations. So, okay, interesting. So probably I would imagine that these are all just cosmetic and they have no true purpose in the game other than just looking cool. All right. Unleash the art patron inside of the office reno. Muriel. Let's learn about her. Okay, she's, yeah, she's just kind of a jerk. Okay. That's a lot. That's a lot of reading. We'll think about that a little bit later. What's this? What's this? A steel? Oh. This just shows maybe the collected weapons we have so far. So we have the scythe, this scythe, twins, and sickles. Oh, it does. It shows everything we've unlocked so far. Very cool. This is, this would be a training room, I see. Claude says, 
Yes, all right. I'll be careful with your shirt. <laughs> and your moccasins. That's funny. All right, so... Muriel, artist, painter, and performer. On Earth, Miss Muriel the Reverend. Note, despite the excellent research abilities of Death, Inc.'s archive team, we are unable to confirm whether that's actually her real name, or perhaps some fanciful gnome de plume, was a highly controversial artist who caused quite the stir in the gossip rags wherever she went. Each of her works were so controversial that they all, without fail, ended up causing some sort of argument. While intellectuals came to blows on TV sets, Muriel simply went on smiling her enigmatic smile. Her rare contributions were limited to a few maxims of her own creation, which proved to be as cryptic as they were convoluted. Cool. So we need to read a little bit more about her to figure out what's going on. Unlock some more entries. Uh, who were who we just talking to? I swear we were talking to one of these bros. Oh. No, he is an employee. I just don't, What's his name again? I don't know his name. Humphrey or something like that? Employee handbook. Where are you, sir? These are all just the different items we've seen. That's weird. I wonder where he was. I thought there was an entry for him. These are just the different weapons. We've seen a handful of them. Oh, that's where it ended off. So the Department of Physical Illness. Okay. That's where we need to go to fight H. Crank again. All right, got it. Well, thank you for that room. It's the VIP room. Of course, what does this do? Nothing? Just a green light. Love it. All right, we're still exploring. You know, the hubs always have really cool kind of, you know, um, things that show you, like, the weapons you've unlocked. It's like this, training areas, things like that, cosmetic areas. What does this do? The upgrade tree. So we are almost at level four, which would unlock an elevator that takes you straight to Brad's security station. Very cool. This is just, looks like, hmm, another page of things we've unlocked. This might be curses, I'm assuming. Yeah, curses specific to each of these things. Okay, cool. And we got Joe. Boss, 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 good morning. Or evening, whatever, not important. The sorrows are out of control. Quotas have risen astronomically. I'll spare you the details. You got a few ingots to spend, right? Let's do the real quick, oh, let's do this real quick before I kick the bucket. Oh. And how's your, how's the family, how's life? <laughs> He's asking lots of questions. We have 252 ingots. Wow, they're all really cheap, too. We could unlock these. At, they're at 95% discount, uh, so they're incredibly cheap. That's not bad, but you know what? We'll wait. Let's save up some ingots. This is where you should invest. Difficulty is imminent breakdown. Just another normal day at death, so this must be the normal difficulty. Um, chaos reigns, and you're already dreaming of your next vacation. Oh, I can actually toggle it. It says self-fulfillment. It seems you're going to have a good day at Death, Inc. Everybody is being really nice. They even complimented you on your animal pattern tie. So this must be like an easier difficulty. Start, yeah, start the run with plus three anima. Recover 75% max HP. Oh, yeah, this is the easy mode. We're not going to do that, though, because that's not how you get good. You don't necessarily um, get good by... You know, taking the easy route. Sometimes you have to struggle a bit. Let's see what Joe's got to say. He's the office manager. This is what happens when you drink too much black coffee. In fact, the coffee Joe drinks is now so strong, it once got him in a chokehold. Well, not the coffee itself, of course, but rather the sugar lump he likes to dip in it to warm himself up. Since he's incapable of focusing on anything for longer than a second, he accidentally mixes up his usual cube of sugar with a stock cube that expired three years ago. That's probably how he died. All right. And who might you be, my friend? Jocelyn says, Boss. Well, I sure am glad to see you again. Yes, yes, it's so nice to catch up, but let's skip the small talk, shall we? In accordance with Bulletin B66, you may not access the elevator until you sign a form. Don't make that face. Rules are rules, so let's go. Uh, so I get a plus five. I'm not sure, maybe plus five mana. Take it or leave it. Or good deal. Plus 15, I'm assuming, mana. But I lose 10 health. I'd say no thanks. It says sign the agreement. Okay, signed. You know the way. <laughs> Guess we're going down. So far, so good. So it seems you guys are really liking the series. Uh, this has performed really well, so I'm going to continue this. Obviously, I'm loving it. So hopefully you guys enjoy the progress and the journey we have to take to get good in a roguelite series. 
So Jocelyn's contracts. Before launching an assault on the Sorrows, Jocelyn requires a few administrative formalities. If you wish, you can choose at least one contract among the four offered. I did not get four. <laughs> I had two. Each contract imposes certain constraints, i.e. conditions that must be met during your time with the company. Fulfilling a contract grants you a bonus or, in the opposite case, inflicts a penalty. All the information is on the sheet. Depending on your level, Jocelyn can offer up to four contracts. Well, that's why I'm only level, what, three? But you can only take three at most. Jocelyn is open to negotiation, and in exchange for a few ingots, she'll be happy to renew her offers. Cool, so that's the re-roll. Alright, well, you know what? I say we get into it. You know, I keep thinking that slamming through doors is going to stun them, and it doesn't. Ooh. Quantum Solary. Got some gold ingots. Very nice. You know, you have to actually jump down before you can do the slam. You can't just hold the down and strike buttons to get through the those floors, unfortunately. It's a little weird, but that's fine. Like you can't just go down here, see? I just hit the floor. So instead you have to actually drop down and then do it. Very weird. Oh, we haven't got hit yet. Let's see. Um, see right through you. Gain 5% chance of dealing pierce. Uh -huh. Burning up. Ooh. Deals damage over time. We read about the effects. Adds an effect when attacking. Yep. Uh, I like it. Or gain solary. I think we'll gain enough solary. I think on more occasion than one, we actually bypassed the shop last time. So it is good, but... I would prefer to go to the control room to upgrade our weapons. So let's see. We're going with Vitum. Let's get some life. We don't have any uh, cloak attacks or abilities just yet, so we're not really using any mana, so no big deal. Mana or mana? I think either one's correct, just depending on where you're from. I'm going to use them interchangeably, however I see fit. That's just the kind of guy I am. It was mana a few seconds ago. It might be mana the next time. What's happening? Okay. This is a very strange challenge room. You know what? Gotta be careful. Yeah. Yep. Don't want to get caught by those easy strikes, so we're going to go behind these guys. I wish I could have the treachery or the... You know, when you attack from the back, it's usually a little easier. Deal some damage. So we got some additional health. I love it. We got some union protection. So maybe increased defense, I think. You know, the funny thing is, I wonder if... you ha I don't think you have to defeat every enemy. I bet you could just actually skip past most of them. Pick get the pickups and... Uh, Possibly just go straight to the exit. But I wouldn't want to do that. It would be kind of boring. But I imagine for a speed run, you, you really don't have to attack all the enemies or clear the floors. So, uh, what is this? Uh, so we have a Than... You know what? We skipped all the Thanagers last time. Uh, we were cowards. Let's see. Curse rerolls are kind of overrated. You can actually only reroll one particular curse, not all a full set of curses. And then Intriguing Floor. What is this? Intriguing floor is intriguing. Let's check it out. I can't resist. All right, what does it say? Beginner's dexterity assessment. Don't get hit. Okay. Oh, gosh. Okay, that's fine. Oh, that's easy. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay, that, I suck. I didn't know they were going to make it that hard. <laughs> you know, funny, I didn't take any actual damage. That's cool. So I bet I would have got a cool bonus. I don't care about curse rerolls. Let's go to the vault again. I don't remember what exactly is in the vaults. It's not equipment, so it's not going to be like a weapon or anything. So what would it be? Maybe some additional solary or prismium or even, uh, you know, maybe a, some vitum or anima. I wouldn't be mad about anima. I don't really have much, so let's see where you're at. Cool thing is you can see, you know, where they're going to spawn. 
Those little flames indicate where they're gonna spawn nice and easy. Yeah, this is another strange challenge room. He's dead. Oh, what are you doing? Okay. Nope, nope, no thanks. This is a really dumb room. Three, okay. Oh, he just disappeared. He didn't actually die. Oh, come on. This is a really dumb challenge area. Fall damage is clutch. Nope. Okay, thank you. What was the point of that again? Oh, yes. Anima. I'm cool with that. Okay, that could have hurt. If I didn't stun him, I would have got attacked there. What the heck? And I haven't seen any secrets. This is a really strange room. You know, I want to try one of those uh, intriguing floors again. That was kind of neat. Too bad I kind of blew it. I didn't realize it was going to be that challenging. I kind of anticipated that there wasn't going to be a second area and another ledge to rest on. And hey, I was wrong. It happens. Oh, nice. We get a free floor. We're going to the shop, and then we get to face off with Brad, I'm assuming. Do, 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 do. All right, so don't forget to remind me. We're going to do the uh, run summaries after each run, whether it's successful or a failure. Ooh, kunai. 75 solary. I wonder if that permanently upgrades the shop. We got the Arashi Kunai. Unlike the Kaze Kunai, the hurricane tools were not forged by death. They were acquired a long, long time ago, before Death Inc. was even founded. Armed with his diploma from old Cro Cronel University, Death set out for the mortal world astride a livid, pale gray horse. That horse was Pitbook, metamorphosed because Death wanted to test out the spell that allowed him to become valedictorian with top grades and all magic-related subjects. Interesting. This game's kind of goofy. All right, so we've got a battle with the Sorrow Brad, the security guard, the rent -a cop You know, it really looks like once you defeat him, he really gets his act together, puts on a suit, and goes all FBI mode. He's all Secret Service, actually. Subdue the pyro ghost, subdue the staff, subdue the gargoyle who's making a fool of me. Ah, you act like you're overworked and not in the... R oh, I'm sorry. You act like you're overworked and not right in the head, but hey, reading, boys and girls. We all know you're a compulsive liar. There he goes. No, oh, that was cool. No, two. Nope. Three. Get wrecked. Okay, he's gonna fly. I almost jumped right into that fly. One, two, three. Okay. He didn't do three hits last time. I'm just saying. Nope, thank you. Oh gosh. You know, there should be a no hit bonus, which I did beat him the first try without getting hit. But I have not been able to replicate that. This is literally my second attempt. I got hit once, I'll take it. No, seriously boss, I didn't mean it like that. I'll get back to work soon, I promise. No, get back to work right now. No compromises. Whew, breathe, everything will be okay. Well, he added a few little moves. He, he definitely added a few moves to his repertoire. Oh, nice. We got max health, and it actually gave us a bit of health as well. So the cloak deals 15 or plus 15 percent bonus damage. Um, gain 15 max mana. Each steal grants you a pure heal of 10 HP when you destroy one. I say we go with just the cloak. Apparently, the cloak is just anything other than the scythe. So. Oh, there it goes. It says it right there, alternative weapons, Y or B. So I say we go with that. 
Some, like yours truly, don't need to stand out in society. So far, so good. Happy with that run, actually, or that, that, that floor, or that series of floors. I don't even know what you'd call it. That circuit. <laughs> Hang in there. Watch what you eat, because it's watching you. Whoa, hold on. 50 plus damage for 10 minutes? Yes. I wonder when that starts. Probably when I enter or leave the room. Let's buy some anima. Why not, right? Yeah. Good stuff, huh? I like it. We're gonna go the exact same route as last time. So we did go to the industrial pollution department. It says upgrade next green curses. So I'm assuming that from now on, the green curses are gonna be, you know, favorable or better to choose from if you're going that route, but who knows? I forget what this dude's name is, but he's pointing the way. He's letting us know exactly where to go. Okay, this doesn't hurt me. There's also no secrets. I've yet to find a secret in the room. Roguelites are notorious for having secrets. Ooh. Oh, I thought I found one. No, I didn't. I was going to say, as if on cue I found one, but no, I didn't. Anyways, they're notorious for having secrets placed about, like, invisible walls, things like that, or destructible walls, secret areas, things like that. Uh, I haven't found one yet, so... I either suck at the game, or, uh, considering this is my second time playing it, but, you know, whatever. I got donked up by that attack. Not cool. We gotta take out those guys that have the projectiles. Don't like those. Can't believe I got hit. It's okay, though. You know, the golden animal is really overrated. It only helps... It gives what's called a pure heal, so I could replenish anything that essentially... I could have lost, like, health that I shouldn't be able to replenish with a standard anima, but it's really not that good, because more often than not, you just need a boost to your anima in general. What is that? Did you see that lock there? That was really strange. I saw, like, a padlock symbol. What was that? That was strange. Maybe there's a secret here. I saw a pad. Oh, there it is. Wait, what is that? Did I see it again? Or am I just seeing things? A few more seconds. <laughs> Obviously, see what? Why is it doing that? <laughs> what does it mean? I am not sure. That's really interesting. Hmm. Now I have to watch very closely and see if it just always does that. We'll clear this floor though. Uh, so we can get an extra... Oh, hazardous floor. So these are new. We had an intriguing floor, and then now we have a hazardous floor. Um, so we could get a, a curse. Or we could try and get hurt. Let's just, for the sake of curiosity, check this out. Hmm. It's not hazardous yet. Oh gosh, it's so hazardous. Hold on. I'm just kidding. It's not that hazardous. No more than usual. Maybe we get a bonus for taking on a potentially hazardous room. I like. What do these guys do? Have the H crank Kamehameha guns. Oh no, that's not good. Okay, time to die, everybody. I don't like you, sir. Took lots of damage there. I need to heal. Darn. Really not seeing the benefit to coming here yet. We'll grab some solary. Destroy this dude. Oh. That's the benefit. <laughs> I see now. Well, that's cool. Oh, hold on. Ooh, and we're doing an intriguing floor again. I say next stream we go for the Thanagers. But I'm just one, or even this stream, I'm just looking to explore all the room types. I've yet to explore a Thanager yet, but. 
Oh gosh, I gotta go. There's a big one over there. I only have 30 seconds to get there. I mean, where's there though? I guess that's part of the fun, right? Gotta find it. Crap, I don't know if it's over here. Oh, this ain't it. Now I'm pretty much, I lost. So it was down at the bottom, okay. <laughs> Intriguing rooms are tough. We'll go to the Vedum department. We definitely wanna replenish some of the health we lost in the hazardous floor. I will say that the hazardous floor did have more enemies. Uh, not that it was much harder, but it did have more enemies than normal, so. Yeah, numbers. Oh gosh, here you go. Lovely, got the ingots. Really, okay. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Challenge. No, okay, that was close. I don't like these guys at all. No! Okay, thank you, sir. May I have another? Anima. These guys are like tossing anima at me. Oh, I thought they would blow up. I figured they would explode. Those rooms kinda suck. I don't like those particular enemies. Boomas is what they call them. Not a big fan of the boomas. Lovely. Ooh, that was an animal. Hmm, let's see. Let's grab this, see what it does. Give me a little bit of juice, I suppose. There's an enemy up here. It is what it is. A hazardous floor? <laughs> uh, did we learn our lesson? The vault had um, some golden anima. The hazardous floor, those kind of are stuck. You can get a little bit of anything. Or equipment storage. Equipment storage is definitely going to be a weapon. You know, I, I think we should try Hazardous again, just because I'm feeling a little risky. Not frisky, but risky. And maybe a little frisky. All right, here goes. Splurty. Splurty. We figured these guys out, it's not a problem. Here. Yep. You can't harm us, we know your attacks. Huh. Huh. As long as you're behind them or directly below them, you're pretty much impervious to their strikes. We got some uh, anima, which is great. Oh gosh, I looked away for literally a second. And there you go. Got punched right in the face. There you go. Ooh. Hey, I didn't ask for mana, though. That's the thing. I kind of feel like I got gypped. Might as well fill it up, because it's only 15%, so right on the money there. Let's go to the shop. We do have 190 solary, so that should be sufficient to purchase something of use. Um, I don't really have anything I'd like to sell. I have the kunai, which are good. Shockwave. Hmm. I don't have prismium. A note from Osha contains one curse. So I got the shockwave. Wait, 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 wait. Did I not get the shockwave? What the hell? Hold on. What just happened? What did I just purchase then? Maybe an anima? I don't know. I wasn't paying it. I mean, I saw that it went down from 190 to 175. I guess I wasn't actually on the shockwave, which is great. Because I'm a genius. Let's see what kind of curse we can get. Mm, spells deal plus four bonus damage. Gains a plus five chance of dealing pierce. Pierce deals plus ten bonus. Ooh, gosh. So that's a that's a five percent chance, which means one out of what? Like twenty hits is gonna proc that? Or I get a flat plus four bonus damage to spells. Okay. 
Now we are broke. 70 celery, I suppose, isn't that bad. Oh, G. Grimes was, he was a bit tough. We got past him the first time, though, so we can do it again. We can certainly do it again. What's up, Mr. G Gordon Grimes? I missed you. Mm -hmm. So what? I'm going to break you. Oh, lovely. He dodged all of it. Oh, great. He usually does a third one. What is up with these attacks? You know, I should probably stay and use ranged combat as much as possible. That's really. Oh, gosh. There's no point. See, they, they've all changed their attack patterns ever so slightly. I mean, it's enough so that a new player could get fumbled up with it, that's for sure. Wait, I'm too far for that. I need to get used to that range. Let's try this. Okay. Thank you, sir. And a third one. There you See, now he's doing his attack that I was anticipating him to do the last few tries. This guy's kind of a jerk. I'm just going to put it out there. Time for some pure heals. Oh, lovely. Thank you. We'll do this, and we'll do this, and then we'll dodge. It didn't get the iframe, so I got punched right in the face again, but hey, it's not the first time. So be it. Knockout. I'm wiped out. Also a jerk, by the way. I need way more anima. Completely out of that good stuff. Okay, we got some health back. That is reassuring. Gain plus 15 max HP. Let's just gain some max HP. We need we need it. You know, I didn't want to take the risk or the penalty of the other one, so I'm not really confident in the penalties just yet. Or my ability of kind of staving them off, you know, or offsetting the penalties, if you will. Alright, we got Poisoned Gift and Bees progress. The bees were fun. I, I did enjoy using the bees. Refill the free... Oh, please. Mm. That's hilarious. Do they look like leeches to you? Heals injuries. I'm taking them. Oh gosh, I'm poor. I'm poor. It's okay. It's okay. We got this. What does this do? Did it do anything? I used an anima for it. I'm trying to figure out what this stuff does. It doesn't seem to be doing anything. Gave me a golden anima. So at least we have, you know, fuller health, but still. Physical illness department. This is where the run ended last time. We got all the way through, which I'm sure we'll get through again. But H. Crank just didn't want us to make it any further. So good thing is we're making more progress than last time. Quicker, anyways. Whoa! Not that we're getting further, but we did get to the same area in a fraction of the time. Are you gonna die? Oh gosh. Or not. Bro Sif. Okay. Down. Okay. That was scary. You know what? I'm not a big fan of the kunai up close. <laughs> I need some better damage up front, like, like my aggressive style of dealing damage. Challenge your own. You know what? I don't know what you guys do, so. Yes. Oh gosh, what is he doing? He gets real Mike Wazowski on you if you let him. Okay. 
coffee. Oh, let me get my coffee, bro. Hold on. Hang on. All right, we definitely passed some enemies, but I think making our way as close as possible is going to be clutch. Oh, yeah, we can go to the HR office this time. I do want to continue investing in more curses. I feel like the curses are what really help determine your build. The weapons, you know, they all kind of just, they're all just DPS type weapons. You have obviously variations, your AOEs and things like that, but ultimately they're all kind of the same. You have your ranged weapon, you got up close and personal, it all kind of is, is what it is, right? Give me my, ooh, anti-penalty? Neutralize this curse that come with a penalty, heck yeah. I'm sure the Mr. Osha will love that. I'll go up, but, oh gosh, let me just see. Get wrecked. Lovely, got hit right in the face. Good thing I did. I was gonna say, there's really no reward for fighting these additional enemies, but hey, sometimes you get little pickups like that, like the golden anima or curse rerolls, anti penalties, quantum solary, all the good stuff. All the science things. How are you not dead? The doctors are. Quite difficult. We have 389 ingots. So I say when we get to, let's see, a thousand, we can start confidently using them. Unlock some things. You know, I'm a real hoarder when it comes to obviously using anything. Um, I typically don't use, you know, in an action RPG, like, you know, God of War, uh, Dark Souls, anything like that. I just. I collect everything. I try and my best to collect everything possible, 100% on whatever. But I do not like to use any of the consumables and things like that. I'm just really funny about that. I don't know why, but I like to hoard them. I am a little, you know, fixate on that for some reason. But I have to start learning to use these items that are going to help benefit us. Ooh, this is gold rocket launcher. Fires shells over a very great distance. Wow. 73 damage. Let's see if we can store this, right? Holy cannolis. Let me let me read about this. This is one of those weapons you want to read about. Rocket launcher? It's a gold. Uh, epic quality, I believe, or legendary. A simple rocket launcher recovered from some random battlefield on the surface? That's what it looks like, but appearances can be deceptive. And this one's hiding the malicious soul that inhabits it. While alive, Sophie worked as Major Pliskin's aide de champ, while he himself was still quite active on the mortal plane. Soldiers who witnessed her potential in combat knew her by several names. Sergeant Killjoy, Sophie the Harpy, or The Punisher. Pretty cool. Like the lore behind that. It's oh gosh. Cooldown's not that bad. I mean it's it's ready to go again. Gain 15% chance of dealing pierce. Spells deer 100 percent bonus damage for eight seconds. Not bad. Retaliate probably means like after taking a hit. I'm assuming, anyways. Alright, so we don't have a ton of health. So we need Vitam. We're going for Vitam. We have to strategically select the floors so that we can make it to Crank and pretty much shoot them where the sun don't shine with our new rocket launcher, which I am going to want to try out. Obviously. Ooh. we got to use it in the right time. I just want to go crazy with it and then harm ourselves trying to test it out or use it, right? Last thing we want to do. You know, I was hoping it'd be more of like a one-shot kill kind of thing. It does take out the doctors much quicker than we have been dealing with them, but still. I was hoping for a little more oomph. It fires pretty quickly too, which is good. You bastard. I'm gonna pay for that. I went ahead and used my 
golden man animal sorry um, just because I do want to get as close to max health as possible if we're in the Vitam department or anim animal department we should be getting some stuff where the heck this is the first time I've actually gotten not lost but like where do I go ah yes yes right down and right the good old direction we must all go in life okay mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, he got stunned. Shockwave's good for stunning. Okay, I like that. Increased defenses. Yummy. Ooh, oh, curse reroll. Max HP. I mean, I'll take it. I don't have any heals, which is incredibly... Terrifying. We have the Thanager's office, D. King Dengue. Probably like uh, the Dengue fever, right? Isn't that a, a thing? Hazardous floor. Let's try this again. They seem to have good payoffs. Last time we got, what, three golden anima? That's not bad at all. And if we take it slow, then we should be fine. The enemies aren't any stronger, so that's good. Fall damage still hurts. Gravity stills gravities. Staying here. Oh gosh, on this floor. That's good. Okay, that was scary. I've stayed on this lower floor just to kind of explore it to the fullest, if you will. Oh gosh, you stay away. Back it up. He's dead. Oh, okay. Maybe not. Okay, now he's dead. This is now the first floor again. Lovely. I do want to explore. Get the most out of taking this decision here to ex to actually go to the hazardous floor. You know, I have a hard time timing the strikes. I'm thinking I'm going to beat him to the punch, but the doctor's just too fast. I struck immediately upon seeing him, and, and you're just not going to beat him to it. So instead of trying to beat him, or outpace him, or whatever, strike faster than him, you just need to wait, dodge out, uh, dodge out of the strike, and then you can engage. Ah, these guys suck. You. I got hit again. Well, that's not annoying at all. We're almost at half health. Ooh. The Dragonair. Oh, well, that's not bad. It's, it's incredibly slow, but... More solary? Darn it. So we're still going into the boss fight with, you know, pretty limited. Oh no, no, we're not. We have two floors left. We can go to the spell store. I don't know if this is a hostile area or one that we just immediately end up in a shop. Looks hostile. Need that. Okay. Using that. Using that. Sorry. Okay. So. Oh, really? That's cool. Okay, oh gosh, that was fun. Took some unnecessary damage from somebody that was blowing up a mile away. That was cool. Alright, we'll go this way. You get the worst of it, sir. Take out my rage. You know, I think I try to use the other items too much. Like, I shouldn't force the usage of these other items. Let's see, what's up here? Let's check and see if there's anything. We 
got the golden ingots. Yeah, so now we're working our way back around. That's fine. Again, very small maps. Or very small floors, but... Got the challenge area right here. Lovely. Coffee, very good. Can't believe how much damage we're taking here. Of course there's a room full of doctors. Yikes. Have to use that almost immediately. Gosh, that is rough. Trouble cross. Hmm. 36 damage. See, I wonder. This to me just seems better. And I can probably store this to sell it, right? Oh yeah, that's way cooler. And you can spam it? Yes. Yes, please. Let's go to the shop, see if we can buy... Oh, well, the control room would have been nice to upgrade our damage, but... You know, I need anima. And watch there not be any for sale. I'll be so sad. Okay. Well, let's get the coffee. Why not? The scythe deals 20% bonus damage. Survive a fatal attack if you have more than one HP. I like that, but it's associated with a penalty. Ooh, this is tough because we could go with this and ensure we'll win. Like, I will win no matter what if I have that much. But if I don't, eh, I only have a full health bar. Deal 20% damage. That's a whole other issue. Let's go damage, right? Defense delays defeat. I don't want to base my build on strategy around dying. I don't do that stuff. Why am I, like, awesome looking? Okay. All right, H-Crank. It's uh, round two, if you will. Okay, am I nervous? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> He's mad. Pop-up blocker. Again? This is ridiculous. You can barely stand up. Ha. Huh. And I suppose you're enjoying this? That's not it. Could we hurry this along? My quotas aren't going to fill themselves. Unlike you, I actually work. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we're spamming that all day, brother. Okay, that's good. Oh, gosh, that was scary. Lovely. Take that damage, please. I've never seen this. Was it do? It didn't do anything. Okay, scary. Okay, bro, what are you doing? I'm nervous. He telegraphs, which is good. We got him, Hector Crank. You've been defeated. <laughs> All right, my calculations were wrong. This doesn't cheer me up at all. I just want to move forward. Let's forget this nightmare as soon as possible. Well, that was awesome. We got our revenge. Nice, I love it. Okay, cool. Ooh, deal 35% bonus damage, but you take 50? No way. That would be a healthy, safe choice. The scythe deals plus 15 bonus damage. Gain HP, launches crows. Okay. Wow. Reduces damage below 10 to 1. But I am actually going into, you know, lower floors, which may potentially have enemies dealing much more damage than just 10. So I don't want to risk that. 
and pretty much nullify the benefit, so... It's not what I would have chosen, but fine. <laughs> well, Mr. Osher, are you fighting monsters on a regular basis? Are you just crunching the numbers safely behind your desk? I will refill it. Pure heal of 50. You know, the problem is I'm not going to get the benefit of that until the next floor. <laughs> Yeah. Provides anima in exchange for solary. Yes, please. We need our anima. I need to farm up some anima. We're going to the modern warfare department. Upgrade next, red curses. So at this point, I guess after we defeat this particular sorrow, or after or as we're approaching him, maybe we're getting better curse possibilities for the red, you know, classification. Maybe that's what it is. The modern warfare department has also undergone some drastic renovations to reflect developments happening on the surface. Humans are constantly coming up with new and more exciting ways to kill one another, and the art of war can be an effective answer to a number of economic, technological, and material problems that Death, Inc. encounters. For logistical reasons, Death decided to categorize the different types of war deaths by time period, ranging from ancient history to the modern era. It has to be said that missiles, tanks, and planes take up more than their fair share of space. Oh gosh, no, no. I don't like aerial enemies because they can be a nuisance. I don't know what this guy does, so we gotta be careful. Okay, no projectile. He doesn't have any range, that's fine. You, sir, terrified me. Wait, 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 what does she do? Shoots little bombs out of her butt. Oh, lovely, thank you. I don't know how far. The blast radius is in this, so. Yo, hold on. Yes, please. Defense, defense, defense. Okay, these girls are absolute nightmares. What the ball? There's so many. Why is this room so rough? <laughs> ah, chaos. And all that for a curse reroll that I will never probably use. I got hit still, somehow. Nice. These things aren't actually as bad as I thought they would be. Now the bombard, or these girls here, are no fun. What does this do? Nothing. Oh gosh. He can shoot. Maybe that's just defense? I don't even know what that means. Hold on. I'm getting destroyed in this area. I don't like it. I don't know why, what would compel me to fight those guys for, for free. They don't seem to provide any additional drops, so let's just get to the elevator, shall we? This guy doesn't want to die. This room or this particular department is incredibly challenging. I had no clue. So we can get a curse, we can go to the vault. I say if we go to the vault, maybe the vault will have some anima, much needed anima. Because that is tough. <laughs> it's a tough department. Yeah, more birds. I don't quite understand his attacks. Like. I think that just means he's guarded, and if maybe he does a counter if you hit him, I don't know. I took damage hitting it last time, so. Yo, 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 hold on. Take it easy. Nope, no thank you. Stay right over there. 
Oh, that's why they call you roasters. Okay. Yeah, that has homing capabilities. I did not know that. Narrowly dodged that. Okay. Wow, this is a dangerous area. And you still have to resort to the same strategies, but golly, like, difficulty spike much? I took damage there. I thought I had invincibility frames when casting that. Note to self. I do not. What the ball is that? I don't even know what this guy does. Oh, freaking. Yep, that's... That's gonna make me cuss. Okay, so... These girls, you need to die, sir. He just uppercutted me, freaking Street Fighter style. Oh, my body. Okay, this is getting hard. <laughs> we were doing so good until this department. I need anima, please. Give me that sweet, sweet health. Okay, that wasn't a lot, but it'll, it'll work. It'll hold me over. We have 137 solary. We need a shop. Any kind of shop would do. Oh, relaxation area. I've never seen one of those. But I think at level 3 we unlocked the ability to see these rooms spawn. So we could obviously go to the Thanager's office, which we have yet to fight any Thanagers, which I'm assuming are mini-bosses. So let's go to the relaxation area in hopes that we can regenerate some much-needed health. And we got a little achievement for that, the calm before the storm. Look at us go. Sinestro coffee machine. Wait there. There's one coffee left and free is the tastiest flavor. Oh Yeah, good stuff What luck there's one free coffee So gain a pure heal of 50% of your max HP There's no greater comfort than taking a little Zen break in one of death inks Relaxation rooms enjoy the humming of the Sinestro coffee machine as the drinks dark sweetness Drips drop after drop into this abandoned cup. It's always better when it's free. It sure is. Oh, the thing in the fridge. I saw that. I wanted to read that, actually. This is the thing that we've been uh, actually using quite a bit. The fridge is full of snacks that may well do you good, plus of the tastiest flavor of all, free. The first time, at least. To refill the fridge with other tasty snacks, you'll need to pay for them with your own solary. If you choose not to take the snack that's offered, you'll see a different one the next time you go to the break room. But beware, prices increase as you go. Oh, that sucks. So it actually changes? That's actually not good, because the one that you ended up paying for to unlock will actually change. No, but I've had enough. That awful junk's always in the fridge. Why won't anyone take it? You could do it yourself, Jerry, instead of complaining. You bet I will. I'll use this cover. It's so gross. I won't touch it with my... Huh? What? It has eyes? It's looking at me. It's looking at me. Grab your phone and film. It's so ugly. Cool. Lore. Well, now let's go to... Ooh, Solary Prismium Department. Maybe if we get Prismium, we can upgrade our shop. Or if we go, you know, get some Solary, maybe we can either go to the control room for increased damage for the Scythe, or we could possibly even purchase some heals like Anima or whatnot. Solary. Yeah, okay. Ah! You scare me, little girl. Go away. You bother me, kid. Get out of here. Okay. Yes? Get out of here. Fall damage. Oh my gosh. I'm just keeping it ranged for now. These enemies are quite difficult, actually. I don't like them. I don't like them at all. Get wrecked. What does this guy do? Does he buff the other enemies? I'm assuming that's precisely what he does. Good gravy. That was not cool, bro. Whew. Okay, we got a little bit more mana, it looks like, but and that's cool. Okay. Give me a little demon bird. Casa guy crows. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. There's nothing. Really not a lot of secrets as far as I can tell. I mean, I could be completely wrong. 
and just not playing the game, right? Unable to find any secrets. And I wouldn't put that past myself. I'm usually really good at finding secrets. I mean, I'm like a Metroidvania master. That and anything Souls-like. Definitely genres that I can excel in. Roguelites, on the other hand, you know, I'm getting there. And this whole series is dedicated to me getting good and mastering this genre of gaming that has eluded me for so long. The game that actually got me into this, like, tr trust me, I've always played roguelites. I've enjoyed my fair share, you know, Dead Cells, Hades, etc. I've played them all for the most part, <laughs> or many of them, but I just haven't been able to beat them all or see them all to completion, right? And that's something that is not common or not a common occurrence. I'm very used to completing and 100%ing everything that I touch. So it was one of those things I was like, you know what? Maybe they just take more time than I'm able to dedicate. But then I thought to myself, okay, look at all the other games you play, you know? Souls Likes, Metroidvanias, all those require quite a bit of time and investment. So I was like, no, it's just my approach. So I wanted to change my approach so that I could do better, you know, kick more butt in that sense. And uh, you know what? I'm scared to go to... I'm scared of the hazardous floor here, but I'll do it. So I just want to change my approach and uh, try and, you know, experience this genre to the fullest. So just a few weeks ago, casually, I was playing and revisiting the game called Enter the Gungeon, which is by far now one of the very best roguelites I've ever played. And I've played lots of Dead Cells and stuff like that. I am so happy with that game. That's one of the best games I've played in a very long time. And um, I was just so happy with it and just so absorbed by it because it was just quality, you know? I ended up pretty much 100%ing it in like about two weeks or so. Just, it was like a little less than two weeks. Completing every single type of challenge available, unlocking all the secrets and all that. And I was like, wow. I want to do this with every roguelite that I've played before, and those that I even haven't. Newer ones that I skipped maybe because of my, you know, my uh, my hesitation to jump into the genre because of my previous failures. So I absolutely love Enter the Gungeon, and I do love roguelites. It's just a genre that I may not be the best in, but you know what? We're gonna change that. We're gonna change that. I would have featured Enter the Gungeon as the very first entry. Uh, to the series, but guess what? I already did everything on it. So instead, it's going to be uh, saved for my main channel where I focus on theory hunting and lore and things like that. So you'll see a lot of videos, a dedicated series to Enter the Gungeon here in the near future. I'm going to finish up my video for Grime, which is an excellent Metroidvania. Criminally underrated, needs to be talked about for sure. And uh, I'll do some lore on that, and then I'll jump into, of course, um, Enter the Gungeon. And then Blasphemous soon after when it releases. Blasphemous 2 anyway, so really excited about that. You know, I love how... Oh, oh gosh. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. No, no, that's fine. That's, that is bad. Why aren't you guys dead after that? That doesn't make sense. Boss level health here. These guys. No, 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 no. Get out of here, buddy. Okay, that's fun. They don't announce their attacks very... It's kind of hard to tell, because a lot of them like to introduce themselves first. And that's when they announce. That's no fun. Okay. Bro, bro. Don't do it, sir. Okay. I feel good. I feel good about that. Still pretty terrified though, but yeah. <laughs> Got a lot of anima out of it, so I think that was a good gamble. Yeah, this guy. This guy. Brosif. Okay. Wow, the roasters are like invincible. The revelation, well, I've used this before, but I just don't like it. I will store it so I can sell it, but no, I, I'm not, it's really slow. So we're gonna go with something different. We're gonna go, ooh. Control room, I guess. I would hate to go to a hazardous floor and undo all the progress that we just made. Wow, this has been a good run. 
Jacob. Let's see what we've got. Wow, it's huge damage increase right there. Let's go from 27 to 32. That's also a pretty nice... Well, it's half a second cooldown reduction, so eh, it's all right. You know, it's not like that good. I'm going to be broke after this. Let's see, 85. I don't have enough to upgrade. That's okay, though. I deal most of my damage primarily using the scythe as it is, so it's fine. Oh, cool. Sorrow's Office, Major Pliskin. You know, this makes me think of Snake, at least his alias that he used on, in Metal Gear Solid 2. It also makes me think of Snake Pliskin, which is from Escape from L.A., the movie, with, uh, gosh, what's his name? Oh, my gosh, I can't remember for the life of me. It's certainly not Russell Crowe. It's the dude that um, is in the movie The Thing. Oh my gosh, why can't I remember his name? That's going to bother me. <laughs> Major Pliskin. Let's do this. Cease fire, Major. Too many people are dying. We can't cope anymore. Fire at will. Take no prisoners. Why is it always such a struggle to get what you want? Bro! Why? Why? Why are you moving so quickly? Okay, okay. Where are these falling? These are going to fall. And we're going to dodge all of them. Like a boss. Okay. Dodge. Good. Just got to stay calm. See if we can not get hit like that again. Back away. Give him some distance. Okay, okay. Gotta heal. Took some damage, that's okay. What can we do here? I don't know if we can destroy that. Oh gosh, he's going melee on me. He's riding a dragon right now. What the hell do we do? Okay. Definitely probably want to destroy that. I have a feeling that could be nasty. I love that we don't take contact damage. Except when you get hit in the face. That's the kind of contact you can't really avoid. Ball. Okay, yep, he got us. Major Pliskin, you bastard. Let's take a look at our performance review. Darn it. I feel like we could have had that one. I feel like we could have had that one. We're so close. <laughs> he had a lot of health. You know, I don't know if I used the right super on that one. If I should have used the ultimate for my uh, scythe on that one. I don't know. I don't know. Ooh, so we can go straight to Brad's security station. That would bypass a lot of upgrades, though. Permanent unlocks periodic effect curses and start the game with a curse reroll. Cool. So by leveling up, you're going to get permanent upgrades which is really nice. That'll make our runs, at least the beginnings of them, a little more smooth. GMO chicken? <laughs> I think we've had enough of that. Okay, so this is the summary for our second run. Attempt number two. We got a 1,455 or 1,455 performance review, which is almost double the 800 we got last time. So looks like we cleared one, two, three floors, and we died on the fourth floor to Major Pliskin. We had a decent amount of health. We used our scythe, which we upgraded to two times, actually, or maybe to the second level anyways. And then we had our rocket launcher and the crisscross blaze thingies, whatever those are called. They worked out pretty nicely. And it looks like we use a lot of the uh, the red curse upgrades. Uh, let's see. And those are our general stats. So not bad. I think that that's been a lot of fun, actually. Um, so far, I think that um, this game in general is definitely going to be one that helps me embrace the genre a little more, learn some things, you know, figure out and explore different mechanics that normally I just don't use. Uh, but I'm definitely going to, it's going to force me to get out of my comfort zone and try different things so we can get to the end. So I would say in general, we did make much better progress than last time. So 
that to me is a success. Whether we failed in the ultimate you know, run, ultimately I feel like we made progress because we surpassed H. Crank and actually got to the next boss um, in the department or next department head in the sorrow. So that was pretty cool. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this run. If you want to see more content like this, be sure to leave a like. It helps me know that you want to see more videos in the series. Also, if you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe. And if you want to help support me in any way, maybe a more personal way, check out my Ko-fi page, which is linked in the description down below, Patreon, or of course, just your viewership is more than enough to... Um, you know, to help support me in my dream of being a full-time content creator, which I am, and only because of you guys. So I just want to maintain it. So this dream of mine has been made a reality because of viewership and people like you. So I really do appreciate it. You guys are amazing. Well, if you want more from the series, stay tuned because tomorrow episode three is coming out. And lo and behold, we will hopefully get to Major Pliskin and get our revenge. Until next time, it's the Inhuman One signing out. I'll catch you guys next time.